Uh, Mori na koutou katoa. Tēnā tātou. Um, today's uh, new theme, and it's what I'm calling rangatiratanga. And in this context, rangatiratanga is about uh, the ability to make your own decisions. And uh, here at home, uh, down home here at the Marae, uh, getting ready for our rangatahi samak. Uh, got quite a few rangatahi getting ready to come here to Ohakune for the next uh, four days uh, to learn about their mountain connections, connect to Koro, and, um, and have a bit of fun and learn heaps as well. So, uh, I'm wanting to talk about the numbing effect, and I've called it the numbing effect, which is actually the impacts of when your land is taken from you, your resources are taken from you, your language is beaten out of you, um, there are continued uh, images of how ugly, how bad you are as a person, that makes you numb. And that makes you numb, and uh, it also starts to make you believe that your people, your culture, is ugly. And as a result of that, you often then want to move away or have no association with your culture and believe that the other culture is better when it's not a competition. Um, and more importantly, this is about us uh, working to relearn who we are. And so rangatiratanga number one is all about uh, moving away and identifying that there is a numbing effect. Um, a lot of people call it colonization and the impacts of colonization, post-traumatic stress disorder and many other names. But basically you become numb and we almost become like zombies. And walking around not really knowing where we are or who we are. And so what we have to do is to find our magic. And to find our magic is to find our identity. And this isn't to put aside the fact that there are many bad statistics, but there are heaps of positive examples that are never shown. And um, so, you know, this is about how do you identify that numbing effect where you might be embarrassed of who you are, where you might think your culture is a waste of time. When actually the times I've been to Stanford and Harvard and Cambridge universities, it's the fact that I am Māori and I'm very confident in my own identity uh, that that's given me another edge. And it's been noted uh, by the different professors, uh, the different um, lecturers that have tenure, that have been there for a long time, who say, wow, your culture is amazing. Wow, your culture is actually explaining uh, what Western science is only just finding out now. And there are many examples of that, whether it's quantum physics, um, whether it's to do with uh, the rearing of a child pre-birth, uh, whether it's the understanding um, of stars. Uh, you know, us in the Pacific, we understood um, that different stars were actually the one star prior to the Greeks, and I'm talking about Venus. Uh, but there are so many examples of us finding our magic. And once we find our magic, then things will start to change. And this is about believing in ourselves, not waiting for anyone else. Yes, there's a partnership in this country, um, which um, is currently being um, ignored. Yes, there are piecemeal efforts, and I've been involved in some of those. Um, but at the end of the day, it's about here, here, and connecting to the three states of being that I've already talked about. So katiake, um, that's enough for now. Just remember to, to see how to identify the numbing effect. And once you've identified it, then move forward. And um, I'm going to talk about the moving forward um, for the rest of the session on Rangatiratanga. Tēnā koutou. Kia ora tātou katoa. Wish me luck for this week with the Rangatahi.